Morning. Right, it's trying to get camera straight. Is it straight? Yeah, a little bit. I'm going to go off. Off a little bit. Morning, morning, morning. Morning, morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day today. Sue from London. Ali, hello, how you doing? Make sure this volume is down. Yeah. Morning, morning. Isn't it a gorgeous day? It is. How did cleanse day go, Ali? Blue skies, so the doggies are out somewhere. You might say they are in the background. <laughs> so I might have my fur babies joining me on my map today. Doing a little bit of down with dog. Hi Janet, hi Fiona. So I hope the, uh, we've had two cats in our garden recently screaming and the dogs have been going nuts. So that's what they're looking for right now. Good morning, Susie. Morning, Heather. Are we ready to flow? Hi, Kath. Oh, it's not nice in Belfast. Oh, I'm sorry. It's gorgeous here. We've gone from, I've gone from six weeks of complaining about the miserable, weird weather. Plen's not good. Yesterday, not so good. Yeah. Oh, like that sometimes, Ali, aren't they? A cleanse day is a different every time. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's lovely here, Fiona. So I've got six weeks complaining about the miserable, miserable weather, and then all of a sudden, choop, someone switched on summer, and it's like 30 degrees this week. It's going to be hot today, and not nice there either, Fiona. Oh, okay. But you've had you've had really nice weather in the UK, though, haven't you? More so than usual. Hi, Judith. Ruth, Judith. Hello, 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 hello. Brenda. Yeah, we're all coming on now. I don't think Claire Dalton is joining us today because I've just seen a picture. She's gone out for a morning walk and she stopped for coffee. Bless her, she's done amazingly well. Cloudy in London. Okay, oh there she goes, that's a little horror bag. If anyone's going to bark, it'll be it. So, ready for our Friday flow? Morning, Arlene, darling. Yeah, Ali, cleanse day seemed to be a struggle for most of the group this week for some reason. It is uh, those of us that weeks that we need to um, get those toxins out of our body. Jan, good morning. Oh, it's so nice to see people in this week. And have them here doing a bit of yoga. That was really nice. Uh, real people. And it was so hard for me not to touch people and like try and correct them or adjust or help in some way. It's like, oh, I need to tie my hands behind my back, I think. Oh, you meant cleanse was good. Oh, maybe I misread it. Don't know. Oh, well done you. Well done you. Mine wasn't so bad. Yeah, I know some people struggled. Good for you. Uh, I think someone broke their cleanse. Um, a couple of people broke their cleanse with even a meal, but that's okay. Cheesecake yesterday. <laughs> a reward. Okay, should we start? Shall we start with our yoga? We're not here to talk about cleansing, are we? We're here to do some yoga. We are starting standing up because we've got Friday flow. Have you got some energy in you today, everyone? So we are going to flow, we are going to do some sun salutations and we're going to move through our sun cells with some of our postures, triangles, warriors, side angle stretches, forward folds, da -da, try and get them all in. So let's start with our flow. Feet, hip distance, take a minute to ground, feel the feet connect to the floor, lift up through the body, shoulders back, just feel that nice morning air, uh, listen to the birds tweeting. Just being little, <laughs> little girl behind me. Hand together, I'll try not to get distracted by the doggies. Okay, hands together. Exhale completely. 
inhaling down out and up to the sky exhale soften those knees push the bum away float it down to the floor halfway up shoulders back spine is long all the way over nose to toes all the way up pull in that belly arms reach out to the side up to the top exhale back to the heart inhaling down out and up exhaling to the floor halfway up spine is long shoulders back and all the way over nose to all the way up, pull in the belly, arms reach high, exhaling back to the heart, inhaling down, out and up, exhaling to the floor, halfway up, all the way over, push into those feet, pull in that belly, lift the chest, arms to the sky, exhaling to the heart. Inhaling, two more. Exhaling. Halfway up, shoulders back. All the way over, nose to toes. And all the way up. Exhale back to the heart. Last one, feel this breath lift and lengthen. Exhaling. And inhale halfway up. Exhale all the way over. And inhale all the way to the top. Exhaling back to the heart. If you're not at the top of your mat already, then come to face the short edge of your mat. Lots of space behind, ready for your sun salutations. Inhale completely. Exhale completely. Inhaling, lift those hands to the sky, lift your heart. Exhale, fold forward. Hands to the floor, they come either side of the feet. Hands are shoulder distance, feet are hip distance. Right leg to step to the back of your mat. Right knee down, spine is long. Okay, I'm going to hold it here for a second or two. And then tuck those toes, lift the knee, step it back into your plank, hands are down, oh, baby. shoulders over wrist, belly is up, knees to the floor, remember this little tip forward, knees to the floor, bum is high, squeeze those elbows in, drop the chest down to the floor, so toes, knees, chest and chin on the floor. Cobra, inhale, sliding forward, lift the heart, all ten toenails down. Downward dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Belly is in, rib cage is in. Shall we rest here for a bit? Rest in your downward dog. <laughs> I always found that quite fascinating when I started doing yoga. Downward dog is a resting pose. What it means is that it's an inversion, so the heart doesn't have to work quite as hard to get the blood circulation back up to the heart. What it means by a resting pose, not that it's comfortable. Right leg, pull in that belly, step it forward. Left knee is down, lift the chest. Hold it here. And left foot to step forward. And hold. Knees are soft, spine is long, belly is in and all the way up yesterday. Yesterday, <laughs> I don't know why I said yesterday. Hands down, inhaling palms together, exhaling some words just come out of my mouth and I don't know why. Inhaling, lifting, exhaling, forward fold. Left leg to step back, knees down, spine is long. Okay, we're going to do a little backwards and forwards here. So bring those hands back a little bit and then bring those hips up and high, straighten that front leg, toes are up. 
and then bring it back down, drop those hips forward and down. Bring it back, exhaling. Bring it forward, inhaling. Bringing it back. It's just getting this nice movement through the hips, through the hamstrings. And then bring that foot down onto the floor. Replace the hands, step back to your plank. And knees, chest and chin to the floor. Elbows, squeeze them in. Cobra, inhaling. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Belly in, ribs in. Stabilize through the shoulders, your upper arms turning down towards the floor. Left foot stepping forward. Right knee to the floor. Drop those hips. Bring the hands back a little bit. And let's do our little backwards and forwards. So left toes lift up and come back down. Drop the hips forward. Exhaling, hips lift high, toes lift up. Inhaling forward. Exhaling. It's just nice to get a little bit of movement and warmth through those hip joints. And then place those hands back in the original position. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee, step it forward into your forward fold. And inhaling, belly is in, all the way to the top. Exhaling, hands down. Inhale, palms together. Exhale. Inhale to lift. Exhale. Exhaling to fold forward, right foot stepping back, knee comes down, we're going to stabilise into the feet, so your left foot pressing down into the floor, the top of your right foot pressing down, your shin pressing into the floor, pelvic floor up, belly in, lift the chest away from the thigh, push down into that back shin, hands together, woohoo, and inhale, lift up. So you don't want to dump into this lower back, trying to lift those hips, tailbone, going down towards that back knee, engage through the belly, engage through the core, if you're on an uneven floor it's going to be quite hard to balance, stabilise, might feel some little tremors happening, and bring those hands to the floor, lift those hips up and back, straighten that left leg, lift those left toes, Toes pulling towards the shin. Pressing down into that right knee is going to lift your left hip a little bit more. Exhale, fold deeper. So we want to be lengthening towards the toes, not rounding towards the knee. Bring that foot back down to the floor. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee, step it back into plank. Knees, chest and chin to the floor. Inhaling, cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Right foot stepping forward. Left knee to the floor. Let's stabilise. Push that right foot down. Left shin, left toes. Lift the chest. Tailbone towards the back of that knee. Belly in, lift the ribcage, imagine your ribcage is being lifted up, hands together, shoulders away from the ears, few breaths, heart to the sky, and bring the hands to the floor, hips travel back and up, lift those toes, toes to shin, nose to toes, lengthen through. Bringing that foot back down to the floor, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, step it forward, forward fold. Inhaling all the way to the top. Exhaling, hands down to the sides. Inhaling, exhaling. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, fall forward. Left leg to step back, knee is down, push into those feet, lift the heart. And lift the arms. 
hands to the floor, hips travel back, lift the front toes, stretch through that right hamstring. Don't lose your breath, breath is nice and even. Bring the right foot to the floor, step it back to plank. Knees, chest and chin, elbows squeezing in. Cobra, hips come down, shoulders towards the hips, neck is long, downward dog. Left leg to step forward, right knee to the floor, belly in, lift up, stretch up. New breath. And hands to the floor, hips come back. Lift those toes, nose to toes. Bring that foot to the floor, tuck the toes, lift the knee, step forward, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhaling, hands to the sides. Are you getting a bit warmer? Heart rate may be coming a little bit faster. Watch your breath, slow it down. Hands together, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to lift. Exhale, fold forward. Right leg to step back. Knee is down. Inhale, lift up high. Um, whoa. Lift the chest, pull in the belly. Hands down, straighten that front leg. Stretch through the hamstrings. Foot to floor, step back, plank. Knees, chest and chin down, elbows squeezy. And a little cobra. Downward facing dog, pull that belly in. Lift the hips high. Right foot to step forward. Okay, we're gonna keep that left knee off the floor. Plant that right foot, push down into the floor. Push those left toes into the floor. Your left heel is high. Pull in the belly. Lift the chest in a high lunge. If you're hearing lots of rustling, dog's just found something underneath the tree here. So she's uh, trying to get it. Okay, drop those hips. You want to try and get a right angle in the knee and a right angle in the hip. If your knee is traveling over your toes, Step that back leg back a little bit further so you can give more space to sink a little bit deeper. Gonna come down nice and low. Back knee, gonna drop it towards the floor. We're gonna stay low, we're gonna stay here. That back heel, we're gonna push it away. So we're not moving up and down. Knee bends, back heel pushes away. So we don't want this action, we're trying to keep the angle in that front knee without changing, as small as possible. Drop the, the knee, push it away. Drop the knee, push it away. Do you feel the thighs saying hello? Say good morning to your quads. Don't forget the belly. And bend that knee, take the hands towards the floor. Little step in with that back foot, just so you can get the heel down on the floor. And then we're going to straighten this right leg by lifting that right hip up and back. Maybe your hands are on the floor or maybe you've got hold of your lower leg. Wherever you are is good. You might need blocks. You might have two blocks either side of you. That's good as well. Belly, ribs and chest to the thigh, nose to toes. Few breaths. So we're thinking about lengthening over that leg rather than rounding here. Okay. Belly, ribs and chest, shoulders back. Feel a stretch in the hamstring. Lift that right hip nice and high. And then we're going to turn this left heel in a little bit. So that back foot's on 45 degree angle or roundabout. Take your right hand to the inside of that right leg and open up this left arm to sing. Now, as I open up, I'm gonna lift up that leg a little bit. Roll the ribs, roll the chest to the sky, lift that left hand towards the sky. Pelvic floor up, belly is in, 
ribs and heart turning towards the sky. Leave your neck neutral. If it's comfortable to look up, look up. If it's not, we look straight ahead. Try not to look down. Few breaths. If your ribs and chest, if you've got enough rotation in the center here, your neck should feel comfortable looking forward or up. If your neck doesn't feel comfortable, then we need more rotation here. And on your next inhale, bend that right knee, push into both feet, come up all the way, arms out to the sides, and turn all ten toes to the long edge of your mat. Hands onto the hips, inhale, lift up, exhale, fold from these hips, bend those knees, chest is forward, halfway. Inhale. Exhale all the way over. So you might just get fingertips on the floor. This is where you might be. Knees are soft. Bum is lifting. You might be able to bring the hands all the way down to the floor. You might be able to walk the hands back a little bit between the feet. So hands are shoulder distance apart. When we bend our elbows, squeeze them towards each other. We don't want elbows floating out to the knees. Squeeze them in. Relax the neck, relax the head. Few breaths. And then next inhale. We're going to lift head and chest halfway. Hands to the hips, pulling that belly all the way up to standing. Turn those right toes back out to the short edge of your mat and bend that right knee. Pushing away with that left heel so your outside edge of your left foot down onto the floor and watching this right knee. If it's rolling in, just going to take hold, take it back a little bit. Hand just above the knee here on the thigh. We're going to reach up with that left hand and reach, 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 reach. Really reach these fingertips. You want a nice line between the outside edge of that left ankle all the way up that left side. Arm is in line with the ear. If it feels comfortable to bring the elbow on that thigh, you can come down onto the elbow. Pelvic floor up, belly in. We're going to swivel down to the floor. So as we bring our left hand down, we're going to lift that left heel so we can swivel around on that back foot so we don't twist the knee. So inhale, reach out. Exhale, come down to the floor. Step back with your right foot. Knees, chest and chin to the floor and inhale to your cobra. Exhaling to your downward dog. I'm going to turn around so that I haven't got my back to the camera as we do the other side. Downward facing dog. Hold it here, a couple of breaths. And left foot, step into the top, bend in that left knee, right heel is staying off the floor, plant that foot down, pull up the pelvic floor, pull in the belly, lift the chest, here we are again in our high lunge, sink down, trying to get right angle here, right angle here, push into that back heel, push it away, and then drop it, knee towards the floor. Okay, this is where we're going to stay. Stay low, push into that back heel, push it away. Knee towards the floor. Push in. And down. Belly in. So we're not coming all the way down to the floor. When we bend that back knee, we're hovering off the floor. Feel these glutes working. Feel them tighten up. So we squeeze. Belly stays active. Hands down to the floor. Little step in with that right foot. So just so you can bring that back heel down to the floor. So if your calves are tight, you might need to step in a bit closer. Straightening that front leg. Lifting that left hip. Remember, we can come up and take hold just below the knee. You might need to come higher and take hold of the thigh. Or you might be able to get fingertips to the floor or hands to the floor. 
Belly, ribs and chest towards that thigh. Neck is relaxed. Few breaths. And then we're going to swivel that right ankle, that right heel. We're going to turn it in a little bit. So your right toe is about 45 degrees. Bring your left hand to the inside and draw that right arm up and open. So I'm lifting up. So my left hand is by my knee now. It's not staying at the floor. So come up as high as you need to come to get that nice alignment for your triangle, your trikonasana. So if you're down here, your chest might be at the floor. This is not what we want. Come higher, use that rotation. Here we go. She's barking at the huge lorry that's just outside. She thinks she can fight it. Roll the ridge, roll the chest, reach those fingers away. Okay, she's scared it off now. Bend in that left knee, push down into the left foot, come all the way up, all ten toes facing the long edge of your mat, take those hands behind and stop the fingers, so you might have your back to the camera now, if you've gone on the other side, roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades squeeze in together, hands, fingers interlocked, exhale, fall forward, remember soften the knees, halfway, stay here, Notice how it feels. All the way over. Those hands start to lift. They might lift an inch, they might come up to the sky. They might come over the head towards the floor. Few breaths. Remember we worked on Monday with the strap in this posture. Tight, you had hold of a strap rather than holding your hands. Strong legs, engage those quads, pull up the pelvic floor, pull in the belly, come up halfway, those arms start to come behind, keep hold. Next inhale, all the way up, lift the heart, release the hands, wowza. Turn those left toes out, bend that left knee. So notice in this left knee, you might want to roll in, just keep it out a little bit, hand to the thigh. Lift up that right arm, stretch through those right fingertips. Just staying here, notice how it feels for a bit. I want you to really get this rotation in the waist and the rib cage. So we're trying to turn up towards the ceiling, the sky. Shoulders away from the ears. If it feels comfortable without losing your alignment in the body, you can bring that elbow down towards the thighs. Reach through those fingers. Pelvic floor are active. This transition to the floor, so we're lifting your right heel, we're swiveling around as we bring that right hand back down to the floor, we step it back into plank, knees down, cobra, inhaling, downward dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. So we want to create lots of length from your fingertips to your hips. We're drawing in the lower ribs, engage through the belly. And then after that, we are trying to drop those heels down to the Keep hold. Okay. Right leg stepping forward. Left heel swivel into the floor, bend that right knee, press into the floor, pull in the belly, lift in the chest, hands together, warrior one, lift those arms to the sky. Hips are dropping low, you might need to take a little adjustment of the feet, get a good foot distance. Again, we're trying to get right angle in that front knee. Don't want to jump into the lower back, don't let your bum stick out, drop your bum cheeks down. Hands together. If your thumbs are crossed, don't cross your thumbs. If your fingers are interlaced, don't cross your fingers. Get some energy up into those hands. 
and then we're going to open those arms shoulder level as we turn to the left so your legs don't change anything your legs are in exactly the same position we've just moved through the waist a few breaths here watch this right knee it might want to roll in roll it out plant those feet lift up Okay, hands to the hips, turn all ten toes to face the long edge of your mat, exhale, fold forward, you're going to keep the hands on the hips, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold forward, so your thumb is behind your hips and your fingers are pressing into that little, underneath that little bone in the front of the hips, so you're going to give yourself a little hip rotation, you're going to be your own adjustment teacher, exhale, fold in forward. Hands stay on the hips, fingers pushing into that hip crease, thumbs pressing on that bone at the back, kind of tilt those hips a bit more. And engage your legs, pull up the belly, lift the head, lift the chest, all the way up. Turn those right toes to the top of your mat, bend that right knee, elbow or hand to the thigh, left arm over the head, reach up and through. So if you're quite comfortable here, a little bit lower, without compromising your alignment and your posture and your breath, you might be able to take your hand to the outside of that right leg, push your right knee into the hand. You might be able to be here. I've just got my fingertips on the floor here right now. Mm, take the knuckles down a little bit lower, feels a bit more stable. Pushing this right knee out. Lengthen through. We're going to come to the floor. Lift those that, that left heel. Swivel around, left hand to the floor. Step it back to your plank. Knees, chest and chin to the floor, squeeze those elbows in, cobra, shoulder blades back and down. This is the last one, tuck those toes, facing dog. End of next week I'll be able to design a class where I'm just facing the camera the whole time, I don't have to turn around and to feel that downward dog. Rest here. Coming <laughs> forward. Right heel swivels to the floor. Bend that left knee. Pull up from the feet, through the legs, through the belly. Lift the chest. Warrior one. Lift those arms. Again, it's okay to adjust. Feel it. Do I need to step a little bit wider? How does this front knee feel? Do I need to straighten it a little bit? Is the knee coming too far over the toes? Just watch for all those little details. Outside edge of the right foot, pressing down towards the floor. Imagine someone's lifting your ribs, your heart to the sky. Don't relax the belly. We're not dumping into the back. Belly's active. Vida Vajrasana V, Warrior 2. We're going to twist from the waist to the right. Those arms are coming out to the side, shoulder height. Reach through those fingers. Warrior 2. Again, you might need to straighten this knee a little bit if you're feeling that knee's a bit compromised. But we're trying to, your ultimate is trying to get down to this right angle in the knee and in the hip. I'm not there today, this knee is feeling a little bit um, weak, should we say. It's not painful, it's just feeling weak today. Pressing down into the floor, shoulders down. Okay. All ten toes facing the long edge of your mat. Hands to the hips. Inhale, exhale, fold forward, halfway. Long spine. Exhale all the way over. Now we're going to take two fingers on each hand, your index finger and middle finger, and we're going to reach for the big toe. 
So your fingers hook between the big toe and your second toe. Your thumb is resting on top of your big toe. As you exhale, you're going to bend those elbows out to the side and up to the sky. Inhale, soften those knees, engage your quads, lift the hips. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhaling. Exhaling. Stay with your breath. Last time. And on your next inhale, lift the head and chest. Exhale, hands back to the hips. Push into those feet, pull in that belly. Lift your heart all the way to the top. Left toes turn into the top of your mat. Arms out, bend that left knee. And take that hand or the elbow onto the thigh. Reach that right arm over. Feel the twist in the waist. So imagine you're doing a crunchy sit-up. This is a really good action. So when you do a crunchy sit-up, you draw those lower ribs in towards the belly. So that's your exhale. And twist up towards the sky. Rather than flinging this right arm back behind you to get rotation, it's not going to work. All you're going to do is strain that shoulder. So imagine your right hand is pressing into a wall in front of you. Use that imaginary resistance. And as you press that right hand into the wall, your rib cage is going to roll up to the sky. Hopefully, that's the plan. Maybe you can take that left hand to the floor, but don't compromise the alignment, don't compromise the posture. We've got so much in today. You've done really, really well. I hope you're still with me. I hope you're still breathing. Lift that right heel off the floor. Bring that right hand down to the floor. Swivel those back toes. Don't want to twist your knee. Step it back into your plank. Knees drop wide, as wide as the mat. Bring the toes together. Thumb to heels. Reach those arms as far forward as you can. Relax the head, relax the neck. Adho Mukha Virasana, downward facing hero. Um, what heroes we've got. Few breaths here. Rested enough? Have you got your breath back? Hope you never lost it. Walk those hands back towards the knees, lift the head, lift the chest. Bring those knees together, heels together. Sit down on those heels. Close the eyes, hands on the thighs. Remember if your knees feel compromised in this position, you can come up high, you can place a cushion underneath the back of the knees. If it's your feet, sometimes the top of the feet feel like they're going to snap or you know, they feel really tight. That's okay, that's normal. I had that for many, many years. It's funny, you don't think about your feet being flexible. Really important to keep your feet healthy and flexible and strong. Okay, going to bring the bum down to the floor, so just scoop those feet out to the side. Come on to the sit bones. Knees are bent. Walk those knees in. If you just do a couple for the core, just finish the Friday off with a little Navasana boat thing. Okay, so we're going to take the hands underneath the knees. That's a big flying thing. <laughs> and then we're going to walk the heels back, back, back. As you do, you come on towards the back of your sit bones. Keep the belly and rib cage. Nice. Lift the left foot off the floor. Lift the right foot off the floor. Still got hold of the thighs. This is feeling okay. 
Spine is long, chest is proud, neck is relaxed. Deep breaths. No problem, yeah? How did it feel the first time we did these right back in week one or week two? How's it feel now? Hopefully you're feeling stronger. Take those feet down, hug the knees in. Okay, if that was a challenge for you, if you could feel anything going on in your lower back here, I want you to really keep hold of those thighs and really push your belly towards the thighs. Lift up long. Okay, if it felt okay, we're gonna just take one finger behind. So let's start with the hands. Hug in. Might be here, so if your back was feeling compromised, you might just want to stay here with the feet off the floor and chest is long. If that feels okay, we take the heels up in line with the knees. If that feels okay, one or two fingers behind the knees. Chest is proud, shoulders back. Let's work the muscles in the face, turning the corners of the mouth up towards the ears. Use those muscles in the cheeks, give me a smile. Hug the knees in, feet to the floor. Okay, oh I just got a bit of cramp in my hip. Oh, it's myself that out. Okay, last one. So you've got a couple of options there so far. So we can stay here, feet off the floor, shoulders back and down. We can stay here, hands behind the knees. We can stay here, a finger or two behind the knees. We can release and reach down towards the feet, pull in that belly. We can be here, or we can push those heels away to the sky, lengthen and lift. Feel the tremors, feel the wobbles. Yeah, I'm getting hot. My thighs are shaking. My belly is shaking. Few breaths. Hug those knees in. Sit up tall. Lengthen the spine, and place the feet down onto the floor. Come all the way down onto the back. She's rustling about under that tree again. <laughs> and we're going to bring the right knee in and give it a hug in towards the chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then that left leg, we are going to push that heel away. So extend it out towards the floor. If you can hover that left foot just off the floor, just an inch, so we don't want it really high. Just find where the floor is and lift it just an inch. Push through the heel. If that's too much, take it all the way down to the floor. Few breaths here. So uh, we've got a contraction in, <laughs> no baby, we've got a contraction in that right hip and we've got an extension in the left hip. Take that left foot all the way down to the floor. Your right shin in your right hand, we're gonna take it out to the right side. Bit up towards the shoulder, we're not taking, dropping the knee down. We're keeping that thigh as high as we can towards the rib cage and as high as we can towards that shoulder. Left side of the body stays nice and still. So your back of your left hip, your left shoulder blade stays down onto the floor. We're not rolling to the right. If you've got space and this feels good, drop your right elbow onto the floor, take hold of your car and start to extend that foot up and out. Push through the heel. Again, try not to roll onto that right side. And then bend that knee, bring it back to center and take the left hand around the shin right arm out to the side so right arm is shoulder height palm is down towards the floor and we're going to bring that right knee across the body towards the floor on the left so you're rolling onto your left side now but your right shoulder blade is going to stay down into the floor so don't let that right shoulder blade lift because you're going to lose your stretch i don't expect your right knee to come to the floor Shoulder blade down, feel this nice twist. Hey baby, what have you found? You've got a dirty face. Found something. Come back to center. 
plug that knee in. She's one of these dogs that just barks at the world, you know, like I'm here, listen to me. <laughs> right leg down. I'm going to do the same with the left leg. Bring that left leg in, left knee in, and just hover that right foot off the floor. So know where the floor is, just lift it an inch. You don't want it up to the sky. Push through the heel. So we've got flexion in the left hip, extension in the right hip. Length through the body. Few breaths. And then bring that right foot down to the floor. Take hold of that shin in the left hand and bring it up towards the shoulder and out to the side. So we're skimming the rib cage of that thigh. Again, trying to keep that right side of the body down. I know it's easy to tip, so you really want to try and anchor that right hip and the right shoulder down into the floor. This is when it's really useful to have someone sit on your right hip to stop you rolling. I often do that in my classes, um, but not at the moment because I can't touch anybody. <laughs> okay, flexing that left foot, taking hold of the left calf, and maybe you can extend that leg out to the side. So again, you don't want to let it drop down. You're keeping it as high as you can. Imagine you're trying to take that foot all the way over the head. I know, next week maybe. Lengthen through the heel. Bend in that knee, bring it back to center. Take it in the right hand. Left arm reaches out, palm to the floor and coming over to the right. So your left shoulder stays on the floor, your left shoulder blade, but your hip lifts. And we take that twist. Few breaths. You did really well today. I actually threw in a few extra things um, that I didn't write down today. So I just got a few more postures in. You should be really proud of yourselves you got through that class. I'm just proud of yourselves just for giving it a go. Bring it back to centre. And let that left leg come down onto the floor. Oh, that feels so good. Bring the back of the hands down onto the floor. Let the chest open front of the shoulders open, let those feet relax, the ankles relax, little toes down, everything relaxed. Let the weight, let the floor take the weight of the body, nothing your body needs to do right now. can stay here for as long as you want in your Shavasana. But if you're going to finish with me now, I'm going to bend the knees. And bring that left arm across the body as we roll to the right. Bring that left hand down onto the floor. Push into your left hand. All the way up to seated. Super, super, super. Well done, everybody. Okay, hands together. Take them out, down, and up to the sky. Exhale, back to the heart. Bring them behind the back. Take hold of one wrist with the opposite hand. Let the head and chest bow down towards the floor. Take this moment as your moment of gratitude. First and foremost to yourself to your yoga practice, to someone or something in your life that you feel grateful for today. A few blinks to open the eyes as we lift the head and chest, release the hands. If you're still in your Shavasana, please stay there for as long as you like. So I will be with you again on Sunday for our Sunday yin practice. And then next week is going to be our final week of lockdown online yoga.
going to have a class Monday, Wednesday and Friday mornings as usual. And now she's come to sit with me, the little girl. Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings and we're going to be finishing our online yoga <laughs> with um, a nice long yin class on Sunday. A little bit of self-care, a little bit of face massage, some nice um, restorative postures and that's going to be a week on Sunday. So next week is our last week of online yoga classes. So I really hope you've enjoyed them. Uh, please drop me a comment, drop me a message, how have you got on through this whole process of our yoga classes. So we've done 52 days of yoga now, so hoping you're feeling the benefits. Um, if there's any particular postures or classes that you really enjoyed that you want to repeat before we finish, please do message me over the weekend and let me know so I can schedule them into a sequence for us for next week. Enjoy your Friday, enjoy your weekend. I will see you Sunday evening. Stay happy, stay healthy, be nice, be kind. Namaste. Thank you.